Hi guys, we're coming again to another news. It has just been said that the Hebrews are failed to learn from history. Hyper activities will not be tolerated in your land. That is what has been said. Of course, you might be wondering who is this that is speaking? Who is this person who has spoken? Well, we would like you to see tight as you go into the full details of the news. To see what is actually happening as regards to what has been said that ipop have failed the ebos have failed to learn from history and also the ipop activities will not be tolerated in yoruba land according to the news matters arising from the widespread reports and threats that ipop plans to attack lagos to defend the ebos and their businesses interest the Secretary General of the Alliance of Yoruba Democratic Movement, AYDM, a coalition of 121 community based groups in Yoruba land, Popola Ajayi, has warned that the Stone Age activities of IPOB, a terrorist organization, will not be tolerated in Yoruba land. Speaking to Sarah reporters in an exclusive interview, Ajayi said the comments made by Wanyabu and Simon Epa are regrettable. According to him, it has shown he didn't expect Wanyabu to make issue that statement. And for Epa's threat, he said the activities of IPOP will not be tolerated in Yoruba land. Hear him. There are a lot of reactions after the outcome of the 2023 general elections. Maybe their expectations were too high. They thought Obi could win the presidential election. They were not being strategic. They thought only their votes can deliver Obi's presidency. They have forgotten that politics is a game. There must be a winner and a loser. The comments coming from the chief Wayawu is quite unfortunate and we don't expect such from him. He must have failed to learn from history, he said. IPOP activities will not be tolerated in Yoruba land, he told Sahara TV. What is your take to this? What is your own reaction to this brain development? We've just had the full gist of what Ajahi have said that the Ebos have failed to learn from the past histories and also the activities of IPO will not be tolerated in Yoruba land and as we know, the Secretary General of the Alliance of Yoruba Democratic Movements, AYDM, a coalition of 121 uh, community based in Yoruba land, uh, Ajayi have just spoken, Popola Ajayi has warned that the age stone, you know, the Stone Age activities, pardon, of IPOP, a terrorist organization, will not be tolerated in Yoruba land. Don't forget that IPOP has been uh, attacked severely, tagged a uh, terrorist group, and of course, we've been hearing from IPOP saying that uh, they are not terrorist group. They are not a terrorist group, but. It has just been said by Ajayi that the activities of terrorist group like IPOP cannot be tolerated in Yoruba land. Do you now agree that IPOP is a terrorist group or do you still believe IPOP isn't a terrorist group? Well, we would like you to let us know your own take on this. Like to share your thoughts with us via the comment section on what has been said. A lot of things is happening uh, in Nigeria. People have failed to learn their thoughts. Their vote alone can deliver the presidency to Mr. Peter Obi. They've forgotten that politics is a game that would definitely be a winner and, of course, a loser. Well, we would like you to share thoughts with us via the comment section on what has been said. But before we go, let's people's reactions to this. Let's see what people have felt concerning uh, the present situation of things in Nigeria. A reaction from Prince Daniel Okeke. Who have just reacted to this and said, Put in one fire so that Ibus will feel bad. But I tell you, you and your families will suffer most because you are not promoting peace but being tribalistical. That is what has been said by our prince, saying that 
you know you can put in more fire so that the abels will feel bad but i tell you you and your families will suffer most because you are not promoting peace at all but you are being tribal you know listicle what is your take on what has been said by prince daniel another reaction from michael saying that when there's nothing to talk about people talks about nonsense what is your take to this ipop is not coming to lagos lagos is a known fact so ipop is not coming to lagos is definitely a known fact just like what ajayi have said that ipop activities will no longer be tolerated in yoruba land and don't forget that lagos is also regarded as a yoruba land now it has been said by guests that ipop is not coming to lagos is a known fact but use the same energy to condemn the activities of mc oluomo and his talks against non-indigents during election in lagos this is a powerful reaction from guests who is supporting what has been said and at the same time not uh being sentimental on what he's saying he said i pop is not coming to lagos is a known fact but i wanted to use the same energy to caution and condemn the activities of M. Lomo, the way he's going against uh, non indigents in Lagos State is not ideal. The way he's doing it is not ideal. Condemn the activities of M. Lomo and his talks against non indigents during election in Lagos. What is your take to this? And a reaction from Brooke saying that very soon M. Lomo will send his boys to destroy your battery tree and says it's IPOP. So the propaganda can continue to soar what is your take to this just like what we've had earlier from guests saying that uh the same energy being put in should be put to condemn the activities of m solomon in stocks against non-indigents now we also have a broke saying that very soon now we'll have m solomon you know sending his boys to destroy some parts of the yoruba territory and will say it is IPOP so that the propaganda can just continue. What is your take to this? So the activities of MC Lomo must be pinned down in Yoruba land. And this is what people are saying to uh, Ajayi that he must do something about what is happening to Ibus in Yoruba land. To forget that the activities of IPOP will not be tolerated in Yoruba land. And at the same time, non-indigents in Yoruba land should not be attacked by the uh, M. Solomo stock and even he himself. Everything should be balanced. That is what people are saying. We would like you also to let us know your own reactions to this. Thank you guys for listening. To subscribe to this channel if you have not. And I will see you on other news. Bye for now.